We're at Shropshire Park, which is a naval memorial here in Olverston. I remember spending a lot of time here as a kid. I rode my bike from the caravan park where we're staying to here. We're in Tasmania, the southernmost state of Australia. Olveston is a popular holiday destination in the northwest. This memorial park was opened in 1982, but the idea began in 1979, when two former crew members of the HMAS Shropshire, Roy Casley, DSM ex-leading seaman, and Bob Boyd, ex-able seaman, met in Olveston to discuss a memorial for their old ship. Olverton is known for war memorials. In addition to this one, there is also Anzac Park. The HMAS Shropshire was a London Class 8 cruiser. It was presented to the Australian Navy by the British government to replace the HMAS Canberra, which was sunk during the Battle of Savo Island in 1942. She served in a number of battles, including the Japanese surrender in Tokyo Bay and the Philippine surrender in Manila. <laughs> Look at this one. Harry's here. <laughs> they're back. And they're gone. I think that guy must have thrown something out of his car. Oh, look at them all go. They're crazy. Oh look, there's one on his roof. <laughs> go friend, Dad. Uh -huh. Oh, here comes another one. I wonder what he tastes like. <laughs> um, probably doesn't taste good even when cooked. Chloe threw the tiniest bit of food out. Suddenly there was 20 uh. seagulls. Look at them now. Look, they're all the way over there. Where's the bully? Where's the bully? Uh oh, I think there's Oh my gosh, look at them coming! <laughs> oh my god! Look at them all! <laughs> Hi guys! It's like the Walking Dead or something, they're all after our brains. Who's <laughs> angry? Um. Are they following? No, they're following us! <laughs> that is so random. Look at them, they're following us! <laughs> I it's over. That's crazy. Look at them all. <laughs> I think the entire population of seagulls in Alveston is here right now. <laughs> Edward Teddy Sheehan was a Tasmanian sailor who served on the HMAS Armadale during World War II. He was born uh, just up the road in Latrobe, I think. 
When they gave the order to abandon ship, he ran back and manned the guns to help his mates escape, and he lost his life doing so. Last year, Linda and the kids had the opportunity to go and see the modern submarine HMS Sheehan, which was named after this Tasmanian hero. Ordinary Seaman Sheehan was the first member of the Royal Australian Navy to be awarded the country's highest honour for valour, the Victoria Cross. Yeah. Look at the car, South America. And if you move it up a bit, there we are, Tazzy. Taz. We're in Taz, are we? The fleet's in barbecue area features picnic tables, an open fire, and some naval artwork both informative and humorous. Chief Petty Officer S. Otto Smith, an Aussie naval legend in World War II, had an interesting way of speaking asking the council to irritate his revenue of trees and denying any knowledge that his wife was stagnant when she gave birth to their child. Sounds like quite a character. I remember the bicentenary in 1988 being a pretty big deal. You saw that logo, a stylized map of Australia, all over the place. I remember riding my bike around this park as a kid, stopping at all the places and looking at all the information. But I don't know that I really fully appreciated what it was all about and just how much meaning there is behind everything that's here. They have no grave but the cruel sea. No flowers lay at their head. A rusting hulk is their tombstone, a fast on the ocean bed. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. <laughs>